Okay, so if we think about setting our goal and trying to achieve that goal, we start off with good intentions and we make initial steps. We take that action, for example. Let's say we get started, okay, which is a good first step. Um, we might then also kind of imagine that, well, there's my goal at the end and boom, I just have to go straight ahead and this is wonderful, clear path and everything will go smoothly because I planned it all out. That's in an ideal world and that's my, maybe how we imagine our goals, but that's not actually how they um, often happen. We know that in the real world, the path to actually reaching your goal looks a little bit more like this, okay? Um, and we, at these, we have certain points, these sort of drops <laughs> where things maybe don't go as smoothly, um, where we might have a lapse. So if we're trying to make health changes, for example, we might, you know, go off, you know, break our diet, or we might miss, you know, a couple of workouts, um, or we might have had a plan for, for working on our academic work and, and, you know, missed a couple of days there. What can happen then is if you're expecting things to go perfectly because you're a perfectionist, you have these lapses, and you respond negatively to it. You might be questioning why, you know, what's the matter with me? Why, why can't I get things done? And we see this, especially with people who have these high levels of perfectionistic concerns. 